Hi everyone, it's Mr. Wilson. Today I thought that I would show you guys how to create a video conference about how to summarize some information you found on a community organization. And I thought that I would highlight Winnipeg Harvest today. So after watching the video and reading the article and going to the website, I found that there are three main ways that the community organization helps uh, other people. First is through using food. Obviously, Winnipeg Harvests it is in the process of always collecting food to organize to hand out to other people. Second one is through time. I didn't even think about this, but one way they help out the community is by simply providing uh, volunteer options, which I didn't think of. And the last one, obviously, is money, and that's probably the most common one. So they collect money from community members and then use that money to um, distribute food or uh, help pay for rent or for what whatever necessity they need that money for. Uh, after watching everything and gathering the information, I found that essentially there was kind of three major ways that the COVID-19 pandemic was affecting them. One was the initial drop in food donations, which was too, was it, which was unfortunate because everyone is trying to save money now and they're staying at home, donations have gone down, which is understandable. Uh, one thing I found interesting, though, is that uh, Winnipeg Harvest is a big supplier of food programs for schools. So one thing that they're saying is that um, a lot of students aren't going and getting the proper nutrition and the food that they need. I didn't think of that before. It also said an interesting fact that 130,000 snacks and meals are provided by Winnipeg Harvest every year for students. Um, how are things changing for the organization? Uh, because of a huge population of um, older volunteers, uh, they can't volunteer anymore because they're obviously at risk of getting sick. So they've seen volunteer numbers plump. Sorry, I'm just like reading off my notes here. Um, they've seen volunteer numbers plummet, which is unfortunate. And a lot of inner city uh, locations for food donations have had to close because of social distancing. And then I didn't think of this too, but like churches were a huge place where a lot of that ran out of too. So those are closed down as well. The last thing was how can you help donate and help the organization? One is through donating food. You can do that uh, at 1085 Winnipeg Avenue off of McPhillips Street. Uh, you can donate time if you would like. You have to be out over 18 though. So for you students that cannot, cannot uh, donate time, uh, feel free to just like pass on messages online and stuff and please donate money too. So that is all of there is for the video for today. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.